do you have what it takes to join the best military in the galaxy? Every day the rebellion threatens our law and order. Speak to your local stormtrooper recruitment today. Our empire needs you. In the books and the comics, the stormtroopers were the elite fighting force of the galaxy. They were feared wherever they went. Today we're going to be doing a three-level basic training inspired workout. First level, we're just getting used to everything, learning the order. It's going to be push, pull, legs, abs. And then we're going to repeat that. Level one, basic training. Here we're just learning all the moves. What do armies like to do? They like to march. That's how we're going to start warming up. 30 seconds, starting now. Get those knees nice and high. We're still going easy because this is round one. I like to give myself little targets. I'm a fighter. I do Muay Thai. So I'm good at getting my knees up high. Five seconds. Two. One. And done. Stop the timer. Get my phone out of the way. Because we're going for push-ups and we're going to need that chair. First thing we've got, elevated push-ups. The important thing here is to make sure that your elbows go back to make an arrow rather than out to make a T. That's a safety thing. That's for your elbows and your shoulders. Make sure that your body's nice and flat. Keep your abs tight. Keep your butt tight. We're going to go down for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head over to the pull-up bar. Pull-ups are tough. I'm not going to lie. I can do exactly one pull-up, not supported. But we're going to build up to it. Level one, first thing we're going to do are dead hangs. You just grab on and you hang. That's not all, though. You're going to lift your shoulders up, pull your shoulder blades back, and hold yourself here and then let down. Easy as pie. Here we go. We're going to do five of these. So hang and up for one. Up for two. Up for three. Up for four. And up for five. But you're not getting off that easy. Next thing we're going to do are let downs. You're going to face the bar, hold on to it in pull up position, pull up position, your hands are away from you, chin up position, your hands are towards you. You're going to jump up, get your chin over the bar, and lower yourself down slow and controlled. You don't want to drop like dead weight, bang your elbows, that is really bad for you. We're going to do five of these now. Ready? One, slow and controlled, all the way down. Up for two, slow. Up for three. Up for four. And one more, last one, up for five. All right, back to the mats. Back on the mat for squats. Gonna need your handy chair again. You're gonna bend over, keep your back nice and flat, grab onto the edge of the chair for support, and you're just gonna sit down 
using the chair for a little bit of balance. Make sure that your knees stay behind your toes. Ready? We got 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Get your chair out of your way. I'm going to grab my mat. Because it's time for abs. We're going to go down for crunches. Knees bent, hands over your chest. When you come up, tighten up your abs. Get your shoulders uh, off of the ground. Feel like you're lifting through your chest, not through your face. When you come down, think about extending out of the top of your head. Here we go, 10 of these. One, and extend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna take a short break. Jogging in place. Just a nice, easy, steady jog, 30 seconds. We'll get the timer going, starting now. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, shake that out, stop your timer. We've got pike press. You're gonna come down, get downward facing dog. You wanna try and get as up and down as you can. You're gonna lower your head all the way to the floor and just kind of rock forward and back on your toes. Here we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get to lay down and relax. Just kidding. These are half Supermans. Wrong franchise, I know, but here we go anyway. Stretch your feet out, stretch your arms out. Normally you'd want to lay your head on the floor, but I've got my mic. I'll bring my head down as far as I can. You're gonna come up, you're gonna lift your shoulders and your chest and your head off the ground and your arms. Here we go. One. And down. Two. Think about reaching through your feet as you're coming up. Just three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. I like to give a little stretch after those for my back to make room for lunges. 
10 on each leg. Nice and easy here. We're gonna go down, knee, stays behind the toe, back leg, stays nice and straight. Here we go, I'm starting on my right leg. One, two, three, four. I kind of bring my arms up for balance, that's up to you. Leave them here. You want a challenge, that was six. Raise them up, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Left leg, and that was enough challenge for round one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, grab your mat. Gonna lay down for leg lifts. Uh, I have wonky hips. I like to have my hands at my side. It gives me a little bit more support when I do these. Uh, up behind your head, a little bit more of a challenge. I'm gonna have my hands down. You're gonna extend through your feet, make them nice and straight, tighten up your lower abs, and we're gonna bring them up bent for one, and down, two, and down, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Another little break. We've got another good military favorite, jumping jacks. 30 seconds, starting now. Three, two, one, and done. Our first exercise this round is chair dips. Sit right on the edge of the chair. Make sure you can get a good grip. Slide your butt off. You're gonna go down, legs bent. Try to keep your back as close to your chair as you can. It just makes everything a lot easier. Here we go, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Head over to the chin-up bar for our next exercise. Level one, we're gonna start out with a dead hang. This time, have your hands facing you instead of facing out. Same thing that we did with the pull-ups. You're just gonna hang, and then you're gonna shrug, bring those shoulder blades back. Five of these, 
and then we got five letdowns. Same deal. Let's go. Up for one, and down. Up for two, and down. Up for three, and down. Up for four, and down. Or put your feet down like I did. That right there is a starting motion for pull-ups and chin-ups. And that is the hardest part for most people, just to get that initial uh to get themselves up. You just did five of them. All right. I got my hands facing me. I'm going to jump up, get my chin over the bar, lower myself down slow and controlled. Here we go. One. Two. Slow. Don't bang your elbows. Three. And let yourself come arms straight. That last one, I caught myself with my feet. I didn't straighten my arms. Up for four. Last one, up for five. Shake that out, head back to the mat. Welcome back to the mats for calf raises. Now calf raises are not just bouncing up and down. What you wanna do is you wanna come up, think about squeezing your calves and then going down. So up, squeeze, lower down slow. No bouncing. Here we go for 10. Toes are pointing straight forward this round. One. Squeeze, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. These can be tough, especially if you're not used to doing them. Might get a little cramping. Go ahead and give it a nice stretch before we move on to oblique crunches. I'm gonna grab my mat. We're gonna lay down in the crunch position and you're gonna flop your legs over to the side. Make sure that you get that nice arch in your back. Knees are pointing to the side. We're gonna think about crunching with these side abs right here, your obliques. Cross my arms, same deal. Extend when you come down. Here we go, for one. Try to make sure that this shoulder comes all the way down to the ground. We don't wanna be over on our side like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to turn around. Got to adjust my mic here so I'm not laying on it. Flip over to the other side, flop your knees over, make sure you can bring this shoulder down, and here we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, take your break, get some water. We're gonna come back for the burnout round. For this round, we're going to do mountain climbers, burpees, 
and side raise push-ups. Boom, 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 one after the other, no break. 30 seconds for each exercise. Round one, we're in basic training. We're gonna take it slow. Let's get down for mountain climbers. If you don't know what those are, you're in plank position, just bringing your knees up. We're gonna go nice and slow this round. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, right into burpees. All I'm doing, down, kick out, come up. No jump, no push up. This time. Three, two, one, side brace or side planks over on the other side. Hold it a second, spin on back. Try not to kick yourself all the way over like I almost did. Three, two, and one. Ooh, that's a tough one. We're gonna take a little bit longer break this time. Come on back, we're gonna do it all over again, but better. Level two, now we're troopers. We're gonna bring it up a notch, it's gonna get a little bit harder. And we're back to march in place. 30 seconds, let's pick up the pace this time. This is round two, we're not in basics anymore. Two, one, and done. I'm gonna grab my mat because I'm wearing all black. And this makes it a lot easier to see when I go down for push-ups. We're gonna do knee push-ups. Even though you're on your knees, you still want that nice line on your back, nice and flat. Still wanna make sure that your elbows go out. Here we go, we're gonna go down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push-ups are out of the way. I'll meet you at the pull-up bar. Pull-ups level two. I have my chair here. I'm lucky enough to have a wall to support it against. If you don't, just be careful you don't tip your chair. Once your foot goes on the chair, it doesn't come off. That's dangerous. Now the point with these is just to take a little weight off your arms, not to use your legs to push yourself up. Pull-up position, hands facing away from you. You're gonna use your arms as much as possible. Very little leg. I'm gonna start down here, full extension. I'm gonna pull myself up. We're going to do eight of these. Here we go. One. Two. 
two, same slow and control down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out. I know those can be tough, and I'll meet you back on the mats. We're back on the mats for squats. Got my feet about hips width apart. I'm not gonna let my knees go over my toes. And all you have to do is sit down. I love to sit down. Let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats are done. Let's go down for crunches. Grab your mat. This time you want your hands behind your head. You still want to make sure that you're not jerking your head up. Still want to work on extending when you come down. We're going to bring our knees up, extend one of them, bring the opposite elbow to the knee that's still up. We're doing bicycles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, but we got ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Break time, grab some water. Second set, jog in place, 30 seconds, double time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Pike press. Now I just folded up my mat, put it on my chair, because my chair is made of wood and it's not nice on my knees. I'm going to gracefully climb up here my knees right on the edge of my chair, my hands, shoulders as straight up and down as I can make them. I'm going to go down, get my head as close to the floor as I can for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Untangle yourself from your chair. Get that out of your way. Lay out your mat. Really got to move my chair. get to lay down again for Supermans, full Supermans this time. This time, you're going to lift your upper body and your lower body and make a nice 
banana shaped arch. Here we go again, head on the mat. I can't do that because of my mic. I'm gonna go as low as I can. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push yourself up, get a nice stretch. Four lunges. I'm gonna grab a weight. You want fairly lightweight for this. I'm thinking 12s for me. Grab it in both hands, hold it about chest high. You're gonna lunge out, making sure to keep your toes uh, in front of your knee, and you're gonna to twist toward that leg, just like that. 10 on each side. Here we go, right side first. One. Ooh, don't fall over. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. A little bit of balance issue there for me. Let's do the other side. Left leg for one. Twisting towards that bent leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, I'm gonna put the weight back. Always re rack your weights. Lay down, stretch, take a breather. Just kidding. Leg lifts. We did them bent leg this time. We're doing them straight leg this time again. A little more challenging if you have your hands behind your head. I like them down here to help support me. Extend and lift straight legs for one. Tighten up those abs. So you don't get that wobble that I just did. Tighten, extend. Ooh. See, that was much smoother. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go for jumping jacks. Not really a way you can improve them. They're pretty good on their own. 
timer. 30 seconds, starting now. That was 30 seconds. Get my timer out of the way. Grab my chair for chair dips. We're doing the straight leg again. Butt as close to the back of the chair or to the front of the chair as you can. Let's go down for 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get the chair out of the way so we can head over for chin ups. I got my chair set up again. Just be careful with it, don't let it tip. Once your foot goes on it, foot doesn't come off till we're done. I have my hands facing me. I'm gonna let my arms do the work. Try not to let your legs do too much. All they do is take the weight off. Start out down here, pull up for one. Again, we got eight, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Shake that out, back to the mat. And we're here for calf raises. We're gonna start with our toes turned out. We're gonna go up, squeeze, Come down, we're gonna do 10 like this, then we're gonna turn the toes in and do 10 like that. So starting toes out, up for one, two, don't forget to get that squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and toes in, also known as the one most likely to send me on my face. Here we go. Up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, See? Lost my balance. Nine, ten. All right. Get a little stretch there, especially if you're not used to this. You'll really want to stretch your calves after this workout. Grab the mat. Go back down for oblique crunches. Same thing we did before, flop your legs over. This time, we're gonna lift them up about two inches off the mat. Make sure that shoulder is touching the mat. I got my hands up here this time. It's just a little bit easier for me to keep my shoulder back like that. Still not grabbing my head and pulling it. Here we go for one, two, Three, keep those knees off the mat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip it over to the other side.
flop your knees over and lift them. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're going to take a little break and we'll be back for the burnout round. Mountain climbers, burpees, side planks. We're gonna kick it up a little bit this time. I'm gonna do something a little different with my burpee. I'm gonna add the jump. Still not doing the push-up. We're saving that for the last round. All right, down, 30 seconds. Mountain climbers, I'm gonna do them faster this time. Let's go. Halfway there, keep going. Three, two, one, right into your burpees. You can add the jump this time. side planks. We're going to save the best for last on this one. This round is killer, not going to lie. Take a good break, get some water, towel off. And we'll be back for the final round. Level three, are you ready to go commando? I know I am. Back for round three, we are hardcore commandos now. So we're gonna step it up a notch. Starting out, marching in place, double taps. Here we go. I think we can step it up a little bit. Missed my target. I am a stormtrooper. And that's 30 seconds. I'm gonna pull my mat forward. Full push ups now. Nice tight abs. Nice tight butt, hands are under the shoulders. Make sure the elbows go back. Here we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
over to the pull-up bar. Level three, like I said, I can do a pull-up, and that's if I'm starting out cold. I've already been working out with you guys. So what we're gonna do is supported pull-ups. I've got this band. It's medium heavy duty. Loop it around your bar like that. Gonna pull it down, slip it through your knee. This is gonna take some of the weight off. It's really gonna help as you pull up. It's gonna provide a lot of support. We're gonna do five of these, because that's all I can do. Here we go. One. And I'm gonna take a little break in between each one. Like I said, pull-ups are tough. Here we go, two. Little mini break. Three. Two more, we got two more in us, here we go. Four, didn't quite get my chin over the bar. I'm gonna finish strong though, here we go. Number five. Oh, five. Whew. Take that off careful. Don't snap yourself in the face. Back to the mats. We got squats. We're gonna do goblet squats. You'll wanna wait for this. I'm gonna grab my trusty 12 pound again. Hold it like a goblet. Now you're gonna take a drink. Get your feet right, shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward and sit down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Re rack your weight. Grab your mat. The ultimate in military fitness, sit-ups. Closer your feet are to your butt, harder these are. Have my feet about there. Cross your arms over your chest. Again, think about lifting with your chest, not with your face. Tighten up your abs when you come up. Let's go for 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, just like fifth grade gym class, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break. Second set, we're gonna jog in place again. Double time our double time. 30 seconds, let's go. One. Get my chair out of the way, because I'm going to need this space. Dive bombers, so-called, because you're going to feel like you got dive bombed. We're going to come up like we did for the pike. Downward dog, we're gonna go down, under the fence, do a push up here, or not, and come back. Get my feet a little bit wider, a little more stability. I'm gonna do five of these. If you can do more, you do more. Here we go. One. Two. 
two under the fence push up and back three four mini break here I got one more in me here we go for five Love that one. After your dive bombers, you get to lay on your stomach for a little bit. The, these are snow angels. You're gonna come up like you did for the Superman. This time, bring your arms back. Shoulders and chest come with them. Here we go. For one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> Lunges. Okay. One second. Whew. Those dive bombers did me in. All right. Lunges. We're going to do jumping lunges this time. You're going to start out in your lunge position. You're going to jump and switch. These are plyometric. They can be rough on your joints, especially if you're just starting out with this. So take it slow. Take it easy. If you don't think you're up for it, do regular lunges. We're down in a lunge. Here we go. Jump and switch. One, two, three. This is easier. Four, five, arms up. Six, this is harder. Seven, eight, Nine and ten. Now your chair is just here for a little bit of support and to give yourself a target. You don't want to pull on this, definitely don't want to tip it forward onto yourself. You're going to do a leg lift, you're going to bring it up and back, touch the chair and roll it down. Keep your abs nice and tight through this. Here we go. For one. Two. Three. I missed the up on that one. Did you catch me? Four. Up. Get that butt off the ground. Five. Six. Whew. Seven. That's why you don't want to pull on the chair. You see it tip towards me. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, let's take a break before I become a cautionary tale. jumping jacks. There's just no way to improve on them. 30 seconds. Let's go.
30 seconds. Grab your chair for chair dips. Legs out. We're gonna raise one leg. I'm gonna do five like this, five like this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Mini break. Lift that other leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Whew. I'm feeling it now. Let's get some chin ups. Last round of chin ups. I got my fitness band ready to go. If you watch the pull ups, you know how to set this up. If you skipped ahead to this, shame on you. Go back and do the workout. Pull this down safely around my leg. Notice I've got it pretty far back. Holding here, hands facing me. I'm down like this. I'm gonna pull up. We're gonna go for five again. Here we go. One, two, three. Mini break. Four. You got one more in you? I got one more in me. Here we go. Good grip. Oh, all the way up for five. Whew. Shake that out. I'll see you back there. We're bringing it up with calf raise squat. Get your feet, hips width apart. Raise and squeeze. Down and squat. Here we go. For 10. Up and down. Make sure that your heels are on the ground when you squat. Don't try to do that on your toes. Up for two. Squat. Three. Squat. Four. Squat. Five. Make sure you get that squeeze at the top. Six. Let's try that again. Six. Squat. Seven. And squat. I promise if I go on my face, I will leave that in the final cut. Eight. Squat. Nine. And ten. Boom. All right. Grab your mat. We are doing side crunches. I'm at about 45 degree angle here for balance. Arms down here, right along your body. This arm's up here by your head. You're gonna crunch up, bring your elbow to your knees, close as you can get. Here we go for 10 on this side, then we'll roll over, do 10 on the other. What? No. Oh. We're here for side crunches. I'm at about a 45 degree angle. Arm down, arm up. You're gonna come up, bring your elbow to your knees as close as you can get. When you come down, think about extending just like we did before. Here we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to switch my mic over to the other side so I can do the other side. If you don't have a mic to worry about, enjoy the break. 45 degree angle, arm down, arm up, extend when you go down. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I hope you're ready for that bonus round because it's a monster. Take a little break. We'll be right back.
This is the hero maker right here. Anybody can start strong, you gotta finish strong. Here we go, mountain climbers, burpees with the push-up. We're gonna do something a little special on the side planks. All right, let's see if we can get through it. I'm already in a flop sweat. 30 seconds, mountain climbers. Here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Burpees. I'm slowing down my burpees a little bit, but I'm getting that extra push up. It all evens out. Ten seconds. Side plank. Oh, add a push up. <sighs> Not talking because I need all my breath to finish this. Three, two, and one. Oh! That feels great. So what do we do now? Walk it out, get your breath back, do a light stretch, and go kick some rebel butt. Yeah.